So we are in Alpstad and we did the first practice on the course today. Uh, I really like it, they made some changes and I think it's good for the, for the Dutchies. So yeah, I'm looking forward. Now it's still dry and Sunday it, yeah, it might be going to rain, so it's going to be spectacular. never know with Alpsta. It's so brutal. Like I have memories from here winning. I won a World Cup in junior, but I also have memories here just being crashing down the hill and suffering so bad. So yeah, it's the first World Cup of the year and it's hard to know. It's risky business. I think everything should begin from the team spirit. Being happy to live together, uh, sharing good and bad moments, uh, eating together, helping to cook, uh, I don't know, playing cards, uh, yeah, spending good moments. And also I think everyone can learn from the other, whether you're the youngest or the oldest, everyone can learn. Then when you have this team spirit and this atmosphere in a team, this is what leads to the good results. I'm just happy doing it, not winning. <laughs> <laughs> it's a conspiracy. The cross country coups against me. Yeah. I t as a Swiss, you have to. You're neutral, so you should not <laughs> win too much. You know, you also need to let the others win a bit, and so yeah. Then be be more Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> Voilà, ben je reviens de blessure, donc c'était à La Bresse l'année dernière, donc il y a exactement 9 mois. Et donc je me suis cassé le ligament croisé antérieur à la reconnaissance, donc deux jours avant la course. Et donc j'ai eu une opération un mois et demi après, et trois mois de rééducation, enfin trois mois de sans rien faire après l'opération, et puis après voilà, six mois de rééducation, donc voilà, c'est long, mais voilà, j'ai réussi à arriver et je suis, je suis enfin de retour. Finir cinquième de cette Coupe du Monde, c'était juste magnifique pour moi. Euh, je pensais vraiment pas avoir ce niveau à ce moment-là de la saison parce que voilà, j'ai fait que seulement quatre courses avant de venir sur cette Coupe du Monde. Donc euh, c'était un peu inespéré et je crois que je réalise toujours pas euh, ma performance d'aujourd'hui. Et euh, voilà, je suis vraiment très très contente. J'ai réussi à faire une course vraiment. Euh, j'ai réussi à gérer ma course du début à la fin et j'en suis vraiment vraiment très très contente. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>
Yeah, yesterday I started to feel a little bit, uh, a little bit sick in the day, and then yeah, this morning did not feel, didn't feel great. Um, we had a little chat and decided that it was worth to, to um, start the race and to see how I felt. But yeah, I felt really pretty ill um, when I started to race. Um, and made the decision that, especially with the World Cup the next week, it wasn't a good idea to, to continue to race. Um, so yeah, just uh, hopefully just a bit of a cold and a sore throat, and nothing too serious. Um, but yeah, this is part of part of the game, I guess. Um, you can do all your all your hard work, and um, yeah, all your hard work, all your preparation, and some days it just it doesn't quite go to plan. So yeah, onwards and upwards to the next one. So I've been racing mountain bikes for almost 25 years now and uh, I'm still super excited and super nervous before the start. Sometimes, even the night before, I can't sleep a lot. The excitement is so huge before every race, especially before a World Cup race, that uh, yeah, I still feel like a 17-year-old junior. So I just got fifth at the first World Cup in Alpstadt which I'm pretty happy about. The race was quite difficult with all the rain who fell during the race, but uh, actually I had no issues with the bike and also not with the course. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to uh, be on the podium at the first World Cup. Yeah.